I bought 114 untested PS3s, PS4s, and Xbox 360s from Goodwill. And in this video, we're gonna test and explore about 10 of them and see if we can turn a profit. Guys, welcome to The Hampton Hole. We're gonna start with this PS3 Slim here, and guys, this one should be interesting because we have a big fat GameStop refurbished sticker on the back. But let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, guys, bad boy plugged in. Let's turn it on. We got power. Wait, do we have a game? Oh, we got a free game. Oh, dude, Fallout 3? Yes, let's go. Man, it's not often you find a free game in a PS3, but let's go ahead and see if this thing boots up. Oh, there we go, okay, Whew. okay, thank goodness. It is booting up now. I just had to reset the video settings. Ooh, that was that was a little nerve wracking there. And <laughs> we got some uh, profiles, we got Digital Boy 1010, Neo Mega and Shorty. <laughs> we'll start with Digital Boy here and see what he's got on this console. Uh, first, we'll go over to games. Any day, oh, 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 we got games downloaded. Ooh, Invoker's Tournament for the PS Vita. We got Rayman Arena for PS2. Oh, yes, nice, awesome. Let's see the last time this thing was played. Back in 2017, played Dragon Ball Xenoverse, Fallout 3. <laughs> Not surprising considering we have Fallout 3 in the console right now. But the bad sign is I don't see Fallout 3 popping out, popping up under game, so it's clearly not reading the reading the disc. The disc looks fine. It's got a few scratches on it, but it should be reading up. It's probably why they got rid of the console. Disk drive probably doesn't work. Let's check out this message box, see if he's got any sent or received messages. Uh, oh, this is my brother's PS3, and he's on it sometimes, so I cannot play when he is on the game. <laughs> Such a brother thing. How old are you at? That's a questionable message. It's probably from a 12-year-old to another 12-year-old, but you know what I'm getting at. This is such so wholesome. Let's play Naruto. Let's be friends. <laughs> Wait, this guy actually responded to the guy that said, how old are you? And said, it's between one and 9,999. That's that's a good response. <laughs> oh, oh, we got, oh, we got music. Dude, this is awesome. I, <laughs> I love when people use their console for more than just games. They like store music and photos and stuff on here. So those two profiles have basically nothing on them, but I want to go ahead and try out a different game on here and see if it'll work because clearly Fallout 3 is not working. Yeah, there's, there's definitely an issue here because it basically, it tries to read for like five seconds and then it reloads the game. It sounds like it's spitting it back out and reloading it back into the mechanism and then trying to read again. Nothing happens, so clearly we need to fix the disk drive here. So for these broken consoles, I've been putting them to the side, and we're going to save them for a few episodes at the end of the Hampton Hall where we try to repair these consoles. So let's put this one to the side, and it, you know, it at least works mostly. It's got some free games, but of course, uh, disk drive does not work, so let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now next up, we have a console that I'm really excited for. It's a PS4 Slim, and <laughs> the best part is there's a chunk taken out of the side right here. There's also a chunk just gone on this side. The hard drive is just, uh, yeah, the whole bottom piece is falling off. I think the hard drive is still in there, so that's, I guess, a good sign. Maybe it, it'll work. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That just does not look good. Uh, the other side of the console looks decent, so I think it was just dropped on that one side. Well, let's plug it in and see if it turns on. So I know you guys are like me. You love a good throwback Xbox 360 game, and hear me out. What if there was a new game that you could play on your Xbox Series X and PS5 that fully embodies the spirit of the Xbox 360 and PS3 era? Well man, you guys are in luck because Wanted Dead is sponsoring today's video and this thing is straight up like playing an Xbox 360 game on your Series X, but with better graphics. So here it is, Wanted Dead is a hack and slash action game with a cyberpunk style. I mean, it's pretty simple. You have a katana, a pistol, and ranged weapons and you just do everything you can to take out the bad guys. Now the concept is simple, but the game is definitely challenging. You'll have to use the combos and counter attacks at your disposal if you want to progress through this game. And get this, there's even a part in the game where you have to time your button presses to eat ramen. I mean, guys, this just feels so 360, right? And to be honest, the best part is that this is an eight to 10 hour single player experience. You know, with all the 100 plus hour open world games these days, it's nice to have a game I can actually finish. So right now the game is 50% off on Steam through January 4th. You can also get Wanted Dead on the Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, PS5, and the Epic Game Store. So if this sounds like fun to you, check out my link down below and start hacking and slashing today. To be honest, I bet this console will work just, just because, like, why not? But let's go ahead and see if... Okay. Oh, I can't even press the power button. I can press the eject button, and it does have power, but I can't press the power button. Maybe if I plug a controller in and turn it on from the controller, I can get it turned on. Oh, I don't know what happened, but I was messing around with it, and it eventually just turned on by itself. Wait. No, don't turn back off. Stay on, stay on. Okay, whatever I touched is making it so that it's pressing down on the power button like constantly now. So it was, it basically just went through the whole power cycle where it turned on and it turned back off on itself. Oh, it's booting up. Okay, if I can keep this from turning back off. Well, I cannot believe this thing's booting up. Hold on, man. This is amazing. Okay, so it's finally booting up. Uh, basically this button got wedged so that it was pushed all the way down and constantly pressing the power button. So it was just like turning on, turning off, turning on, turning off, cycling through. I had to unplug it and then, you know, unwedge this thing so that I could actually turn it on without it turning itself off. And now we're checking the system storage, which is not surprising at all. 
So let's go ahead and see if this thing will actually boot up all the way. There is no way this console just actually booted up. That is unreal, hold on. You know what's even crazier is the fact that this thing is factor reset. So somebody, how did this happen? My assumption would be this console, somebody was, I don't know, somebody was playing this console, they picked it up, dropped it, whatever, it got smashed and they're like, all right, I can't use it anymore, let me just donate it. But it seems like somebody factor reset it and then dropped it and then donated it because this thing is, yeah, it's factory reset, but it is booting up. And what I'm really curious is what firmware version we're on because we could be on a really old firmware version if this thing was dropped ages ago. So let's check that first. No, we're not, we're on 10.01, which is like a year ago. So that is, may, <laughs> makes us even stranger. Hold on, let me actually, let me check the manufacturing date on this thing. What? This is so weird. The, the manufacturing date is November of 2022, which is basically one of the very last PS4 Slims that Sony produced. Let's put a game in and see if a game works. So we're gonna go with The Last of Us Remastered right here. And I think the, yeah, disk drive is somehow still intact, even though the, I guess it's just the case that's damaged because everything else is okay so far. Fingers crossed, let's see if this boots up. Yeah, there it goes, holy crap. I, I can't believe this console is working. So yeah, clearly the game is loading up and this console is working. Very odd, very strange. I'll list it down below for sale on my website called jarabgaming.com. So go check it out. I'll probably list it as is just because it's all beat up, but it is fully working and, <laughs> Amazing, but let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now, next up I have an inbox Wii, which has stuff just rattling around and it's actually taped all the way up with just uh, shipping tape. <laughs> so, gotta fully open this thing up and see what's inside. All right, got this bad boy open. First layer, oh, we got Wii Sports. Please be in there, please be in. Oh, oh. We got the, the case and the manual and this, this is actually in great condition, but there's no, no game. Maybe the game is inside of the console. We also have a Wii Fit board foot that's random controller that's in really nice condition even got the stand here now is there a console yes there is nice okay we got the console inside and yeah the console's in pretty good condition both flaps still intact we do not have an sd card but let's plug it in and hopefully wii sports is inside are you interested in a free game like wii sports or even a texas load and hanson hall sticker sheet well if you are it's your lucky day check out my link down below to whatnot and get a 15 dollars credit if you sign up today it's 100 percent free no tax no shipping anything under 15 dollars will be 100 percent free and i only have this stack of games so once these are gone they're gone so go check them out right now before they're sold out god's bad boy plugged in let's turn it on and there's a game inside, it's, it's gotta be Wii Sports. It is, I knew it. <laughs> dude, let's go. Wii Sports looks pretty good as well. Let's boot it all the way up and see if it works. Oh, dude, we got a, oh, we got a free game too on the system. We got Super Mario Bros. for the NES downloaded. Let's go. No hidden channels. Wii Sports is loading up. Let's go ahead and start with the Mii channel. Oh, we got a handful. Looks like a full family here. Every single one of them was like a three or four letter name, which is funny. Uh, let's also check out the console nickname. Party, yeah, it's a party. It's a Wii party. <laughs> That's so random. I, I can imagine just like, I don't know, I get the vibe from this Wii that they played Wii Sports, Mario Party, and Mario Kart probably. Let's let's, let's check here. I, I can't believe I forgot, about, I forgot about Wii Fit as well. But it looks like I'm, I'm not too far off. I've got Wii Sports, Wii Play. Actually, I am pretty far off. There's no Mario Kart here. Okay, surprising. But anyway, let's go back and check the last time this thing was played. All right, it's so going back around April 2013. And, oh, never mind. We just got a, a Wii U message. No gameplay here. All right, January 2013. We got New Super Mario Bros. for two hours. Wii Sports for 30 minutes and they put it back in the box, so it took it to goodwill. <laughs> it's always such a funny visual to me to think about somebody playing Wii Sports for the last half hour ever, putting it to the side and then just like the next day they're like, man, I don't want this crap anymore. Let me take it to goodwill. It's, it's probably not how it happens, but anyways, this console is working. It'll be listed down below for sale, complete in box, of course, as you saw. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we'll test out this 360 Slim, which actually appears to be in pretty nice condition, to be honest. And flip into the back, we got the warranty seal intact and I hear something rattling around inside. Hopefully that's not a bad sign, but we, oh no. <laughs> we have the classic GameStop warranty seal on the uh, hard drive, which is 250 gigs. Well, let's, let's plug this bad boy in and see if it works. All right, three, two, one. We got power. I definitely hear a game in there, but it's making a slightly strange noise, maybe. Let me see what's inside first. Ooh, yes. Dude, it's, it's always Call of Duty. Call of Duty Ghosts. That might be a first. I always see Call of Duty Black Ops or Black Ops 2. Disc is in really nice condition. We got some profiles. And it's back to, hold on. I saw this on another console one time where we saw the same profile twice, and I don't understand why, but let's, let's explore a bit. All right, so we got Kent, Kent Swagner twice. We got Leet, Leet Kent. I don't even know wanted to try to pronounce that, but let's start out with uh, Kent Swagner and see if that works. All right, Kent, what's up here? We got uh, Black Ops 2, Battlefield 4, Call of Duty Ghost back in 2013. And then, wow, really short play history. We got Assassin's Creed 3 first in 2013. And then, yes, yeah, so this guy played for less than a year. Let's check out the other profiles. So it appears that 
We have Kent Swagner on both the hard drive and the internal drive. Somehow you can put the profile on there twice. Never seen that before, but let's try out, uh, or, uh, other than that one at a time, let's try out this profile here. So this guy's got 5,000 gamer score, not bad. I believe I can, fr <laughs> uh, okay, uh, no comment. Location, USA, uh, okay. And Call of Duty Ghost last played, GTA 5. Last played online was Need for Speed Rivals in 2014. And first game played, if we keep scrolling back, was in 2012, Wipeout 2. <laughs> I've always seen that game, but I've never actually played it myself. I, I used to watch the, the Wipeout game with my, with my family, but let's try out this last profile here. Elite, Elite Kent. He's got the classic swag glasses from like, that was, that was really popular in like, what, 2011, 2012, I think? And yeah, of course, last played in 2012 here and first played in 2011. So again, none of these guys played for, for too long. I guess they played for a little bit before they got their Xbox One grind on, but we saw the game boots up and plays. Let's go ahead and check out the settings here. Do we have family settings turned on? We do not. Check out the storage, we got 250 plus the internal drive here. Good to see, we got a few extra gigs. And uh, yeah, other than that, oh wait, hold on. I forgot to check out the games here. Do we have any games downloaded? Nope, we just got Call of Duty Ghosts, which is in the disk drive. So, uh, I don't know, console works perfectly fine, no issues at all. And yeah, it'll be listed down below for sale. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, I have a couple of Wii consoles to test out. We've got both white GameCube compatible Wiis that are very dirty. Checking this one out, no SD card. And this one right here, there is also no SD card, but let's plug in the right one first, see if it works. All right, let's turn it on. Got power. <laughs> of course, as always, there's a game inside. <laughs> Another copy of Wii Sports, unreal, man. Every time. Oh, 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 hold on. Dude, we got a lot of games. First of all, I got the free physical game. We also got Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtle, Teenage Mutant Ninja, Nin Team NT. Next up, we got Donkey Kong Country 2 here. We also have Kirby's Adventure for the NES. We have Super Mario Bros. 3. What a jackpot. No hidden channels back there. Game is clearly working. Let's go ahead and check the Mii channel first and see what's up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go. Finally, yes, we got Snoopy. We've also got Charlie Brown, yes, finally. This is like my Wii where I had Charlie Brown, I had Snoopy, I had Snoop Dogg, or I, I don't know, I had anything you could download, I had. Okay, I, I can't show that one. Uh, that'll be blurred out. Um, <laughs> I'll just let you take a guess Guess at what that was. This Wii was going well for a little bit until I saw the other Miis they had. <laughs> Let's go back to the main menu and find out the last time this console was played. All right, May 2016, we've got, dude, Snoopy played a ton in May 2016, that's awesome. Wii Sports, yeah, Wii Sports for three hours, and then, of course, dumped it to the side, took it to Goodwill, and that was that for this console. And last but not least, let's check out the console nickname. This Wii is called Wii, that's, that's, that's awesome. Now, honestly, if you went back and looked at my Wii, it might be called Wii as well, that just feels like something I would do, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to this console right here and see what it does. All right, plug it in, three, two, one, got power, we've got a game inside, Wii Sports again, oh, oh, Just Dance, come on, man. I'm surprised I don't get more copies of Just Dance because of how popular Just Dance was and still is on the Wii. And this, ooh, this disc looks not great. Let's put it back in and see if it works. So this is a first for a Wii. I think this thing is frozen. Like I can't turn it off. I can't do anything. The screen is blank. So I've played around with this console a little bit and this is interesting. So it seems that it's not even booting up. It's not just a blank screen. It's just not booting up because I cannot even sync my controller. Like if I press the sync button here, press the sync button on the Wii, usually it would light up as the first player. I'd press A and I could go to the main menu and it would just show up as player one and I just wouldn't see a video output, but it, appear, it appears that it's not booting up at all. All right, yeah, well, I've unplugged this thing, turned it back on multiple times, still not working. From a quick Google search, it appears that it's either a bricked Wii or there could be a bad Bluetooth or Wi-Fi module that's just causing it not to boot up at all. So of course, this is another console we'll put to the side and fix in a later video. I think this one shouldn't be quite as hard of a fix as I, I think it is, unless it's bricked. I don't know if you can fix a bricked Wii. Uh, but let me know down below if you have any experience with this. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we have a fat Xbox One to test out, and this thing is just mutilated. It does appear to be intact though, which is a good sign because the last Xbox One I got was basically coming apart. And yeah, it doesn't look too awful, to be honest. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. Oh wait, never mind. I just realized here on the side, <laughs> there's a random piece that's just broken out of place. That's not too bad though, but yeah, let's plug it in. All right, let's try to turn this bad boy on. Ooh, we got life. Any free games? Oh, what was the game inside? What is this? Snatch. Oh, a Blu-ray disc. Hey, that's a that's a first. Never heard of Snatch, but uh, okay. Free Blu-ray. Let's go ahead and see if this thing boots all the way. Hi, Richard. <laughs> that's hilarious. Sheenosaurus. We got Fortnite downloaded. Hold on, hold on. Okay, we got it. What the heck? Disk drive just randomly tried to pull something in. But let's see what games we got downloaded. So we got Apex Legends, Battlefield 4, Doom, Fortnite. Geometry Wars 3, Overwatch 2, Worms, Rocket League. So a bunch of free games. A few of these are not free. Oh, 
a bunch of apps as well. Looks like he was playing some, watching some NFL Sunday Ticket. And uh, yeah, let's just try to boot one of these games and see if it actually works. Oh no. Yeah, classic. All these games, you gotta be connected to the network to verify you own the game. Let me just connect to my, let me just, let's just connect to the internet and see what happens now. Oh, of course, Xbox One is back with the classic huge update. I'll come back when it's done. Finally got this thing updated and I booted into a, a very cute screen here. We have <laughs> this guy's profile picture is his dog, I guess, which is awesome. Got I Love Cheese, Pug Hacker, and Tone Gosling. Now let's just, <laughs> let's boot these up and see if they even let me do anything. Yeah, so I tried to get into all four of the profiles just so we could like play some games here or uh, explore something, but no, all of them require a password, which is not surprising. And it kind of reminded me that I forgot the Xbox One doesn't even have an offline profile. They're all online. So to even start an Xbox One profile at all, you gotta connect to the internet and create a profile, uh, Xbox Live profile, which is unfortunate, especially looking far ahead into the future when you're trying to play a game uh, that you digitally downloaded in the future. Like we might run into some problems where you have to connect to the internet authenticate the game or authenticate yourself to play the game. I don't know, it doesn't matter right now, but that's definitely a potential problem down the line. Now, next thing I wanna look up is how big our storage is here. I'm gonna guess 500 gigs. Yeah, that's definitely a 500 gigs there. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and put a disk in and make sure it works. So this is strange. I put Assassin's Creed Unity in the disk drive and it is installing now, but when I first put it in, it did nothing. I pressed the eject button and then it like kind of woke itself up and I was like, oh crap, I'm supposed to, supposed to read this? And, oh, I need to clear up some space, but whatever. It's weird because I've done this on multiple Xbox Ones now where I try to put a game in and at first it's kind of like, a, the disk drive's like sleepy and doesn't want to wake up and doesn't want to do its thing. And then you kind of mess around with it a few times, put some disks in and out and press the button. And it's like, oh, I forgot, I'm supposed to do some work here. And finally decides to start spinning up and installing. So I guess it's just an Xbox One thing. You know, after a while it just forgets how to read a game, which no, that doesn't surprise me at all. This Xbox One is just, not the best, but guys, this console is working. Not much else to do with it. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now, next up, we have a PS3 Super Slim. I think this is only the second PS3 Super Slim of the entire Hampton Hall lot. Let's see if there's a game inside. There is not. And actually, that mechanism is not bad. Usually, this thing gets really dirty and really grimy and doesn't actually extend all the way, but that one slides all the way out. Our warranty seal is gone, so that's not a good sign, but let's go ahead and boot it up and see if it works. All right, let's go ahead and try to boot it up. We got life. Nice. I'm gonna start here by putting in this Fallout 3 disc that I got in a previous PS3 and see if this disc even works. There we go, finally booted up here. Let's go ahead and check out the profiles we got. We got <laughs> 7 Project 5 Go Big 7. Oh wait, wonder if that's 757, the area code, Project Go Big in the middle. 757, where, where, what is that area code? Oh yeah, 757 is like Virginia Beach. That's where this console came from, so that, that makes sense. 757 Project Go Big. What is, maybe that means something? I don't know, uh, but the disc is, disc is loading up. That's a good sign. Let's go ahead and check this mus message box first, see if there's anything on here. We got some messages from 2017. We'll start with the sent messages. Doo doo baby. <laughs> change, <laughs> this, is, this is the most like 2013 message I've ever seen. Doo doo baby, change your diaper. <laughs> then we got some messages here that are, um, have some words I can't say, but then we got this one that says, I got in Charted 3. Uh, Word tight, and I had Warfare 2, but it got stolen. But I got MW3 and Skate 2. But yeah, me and Sensa are just chilling watching Netflix. What it do? <laughs> there is so much going on in this message. Incharted. <laughs> I've never heard anybody call it Incharted. That's that is awesome. Oh, and here's here's the res response to that message. This guy said, Who's Sensa? You need that Black Ops 2. There we go, that's wholesome. <laughs> There's some funny messages in there. It's just like, most of them are nothing special. It's just funny seeing the history here. Now let's go ahead and make sure this game boots up. Oh yeah, Fallout 3. It is working clearly. Let's go back to the main menu. And I, I've mentioned this story a few times, but I played Fallout 3 on like a 15 inch CRT, maybe 17 inch. I couldn't even see the HUD at all. It was awful, but I, I still played it and I, I think I beat it. But last but not least here, let's check out the storage size in this console. It looks like probably 250 gigs, version 4.81. And actually, one more, one more thing, I forgot, I need to check the last time this guy played. Yeah, he did play MW3, just like he said, back in 2017. Also some Minecraft, YouTube, NCIS game. I didn't know there was an NCIS game. Skate 2, oh yeah, my man. And yeah, there's there's Uncharted. <laughs> All right, guys, this console is good to go, working great. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we have a 360 Slim, and this one, again, looks pretty good. It is a bit dusty, but that's how just about every console here is. Let's check if we have a hard drive. We do not. Actually, this one's, this one's got some like cobwebs inside. So never mind. This is a little, little bit more dusty than most of these consoles. Warranty seal is intact, but let's plug it in and see if it works. We got life here. I don't hear a game inside. No game. 
unfortunate. All right, we're gonna straight up to the Metro dashboard and somebody actually factory reset their console. Wow. You know, I've gone through maybe 80 or 90 consoles at this point, and this is maybe the third console that's actually been factory reset, which is just amazing. And so, yeah, not much to see here, but let's go ahead and put a disc in, make sure it works. I love when I'm standing in midair with no support. The good old 360 days. But yeah, this console is good to go. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up, we have a couple more Wii consoles, and this one looks like it was dragged on the pavement. It's just got this, these deep scratches all over it. Let's check no SD card. And this one is the, uh, we had a black GameCube compatible Wii right here. This one actually looks even worse. Wow, <laughs> no SD card, but let's plug them in, see if they work. All right, plugged in, let's see if we got a free game. <sighs> no, and we got a loud disk drive too. That's yeah, not that loud. Let's, let's see if it works. All right, booted up here, we got Nothing special, pretty standard channels here. Let's go ahead and put a game in. We'll put in Wii Sports. So I just put Wii Sports in and it is working. So the disk drive actually wasn't that loud. It was like a tad loud, but not bad. But let's go ahead and check out the Mii channel right here. Actually, no, no, no. I'm gonna go to Wii Sports and check out the Mii's through Wii Sports. All right, bowling, we got Otis, Cool John, Soldier Slim. Dude, that's awesome. We got Dude. Right as I was saying Dude, we got Dude. <laughs> we have a lot of Mii's here. Hold on, hold on. Let me just pick the first guy here. We got Otis. Let's do some bowling, and then we'll go back to the Me channel. Let me get my signature curve on this. Oh, no, I split. Oh, I got, oh, I just got the spare off of that. But all right, let's go back to the Wii menu. I want to check out all of those Mii's now, because I, I saw a lot. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We got like 25 Mii's here. We've got Dude, my man, Dude, Slick Willy. <laughs> it's definitely, those are definitely not Check Me Out channel Mii's, but they're, Definitely very creative memes, which is what I like to see. Now let's go ahead and check out the last time this thing was played. All right, January 2014, we get some play data. Michael Jackson, Wii Sports Resort, Michael Jackson, Wii Sports Resort. Michael Jackson, <laughs> there's a little switcheroo right there. And yes, yeah, so I guess the last game played here was Michael Jackson and they took the game with them, unfortunately. Now last but not least, let's check out the console nickname, Warfields. That means nothing to me. All right guys, so this console is working. It'll be listed down below for sale, just like all the other ones. Now let's go ahead and move on to this console right here. All right, this bad boy plugged in. Let's see if we got a free game. What was that noise? But apparently there's not a game inside. I, I'm not gonna put Wii Sports in there. I'm, I'm gonna put Just Dance in and risk this game to see what happens here. I don't know where that first noise came from because now it sounds perfectly fine. But the console looks normal. Got, of course, your Netflix, Hulu, Hulu Plus, no secret channels. And as you can see, Just Dance 4 is booting up without an issue. Let's go ahead and start with the meat channel this time. Okay, we got a handful here. Carp. <laughs> Cartman, like from South Park. <laughs> they straight up like from from ninety percent of the memes I saw here, it looks like a like an extended family, like kids, parents, grandparents. That's what I see on a lot of a lot of Wii's, and that I mean it makes sense. Uh, now let's go ahead and check out the last time this thing was this thing. This thing was played. Does anybody hold the Wii remote like this? I'm gonna start using like it's like a kind of like a pencil. Oh yeah, it's actually not bad. Oh man, September 2019. That's fairly recent. We've got what? Hold on, I I'm confused. So first of all. Let me see, what, what, what date is this on? This is on, yeah, September 2nd, 2019. There's no play data, but then we have a message here that says 11-8-2018. What? Hold on, let me go to 11-8-2018, I guess. Yeah, there is indeed play time on 11-8-2018. <laughs> Why would that message show up a year later? I'm so confused. Let, let me know down below if you've ever seen that, but that is not something I think I've ever seen or ever acknowledged at least. Let's go ahead and check out the console nickname now. The Townsends, yep, definitely a family. And uh, yeah, this console is good to go despite the, let me do one more test here because that disk drive just sounded weird at first. Nope, sounds fine now. I guess it just had to wake up from its, you know, decade long nap or whatever. But this console is good to go. You listen down below for sale. And guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, we'll have episodes every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday throughout December. So go check them out. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.